Hi, Steve Orpeza here from Promarahi USA. Today I'm going to be showing you how to retrofit your TR-102W so that it meets the 2016 DFW regulations. The new regulations state that starting August 1st, 2016, crab traps shall contain at least one destructive device of a single strand of untreated cotton twine size number 120 or less that creates an unobstructed escape opening in the top or upper half of the trap of at least 5 inches in diameter when the destructive attachment material corrodes or fails. For those of you who have the 102W and plan on using it for this year's crab season, here are two options for you to make it regulation compliant. The first option, which is the one that I recommend, will allow you to continue using the metal clips for opening the trap and easily removing your catch, but requires you to cut into your netting. The second option is for those of you who don't like the idea of cutting into your netting. This works just as well, but makes the process of opening your trap a little longer. So for option one, you're going to need either a tape measure or ruler, some scissors, and some cotton twine. Promar currently offers a variety of cotton twine, all of which meet the regulation standards. So once you have all of these items ready, you can get started. The first thing you want to do is measure out your mesh pieces and figure out how many you will need to cut in order to have the five inch diameter opening. So it looks like four pieces of mesh will equate to about six inches in length and will be more than enough to meet the regulation standards. So what you will want to do is cut a section that is four by four mesh pieces long and that will create your regulation trap opening. So take your scissors and cut across this section, this section, and this section, and this will create a hinge-like opening. Leave the top section intact and just cut this section here. So cut one, two, three across, and do the same thing here. One, two, three, and again here, one, two, three. So the opening measures out to about six inches and meets the regulation standards. Now you can take a two foot long piece of twine and attach it to the top right corner of your opening using your preferred knot. Once you have cinched it tight, begin to weave it around your opening. When you weave it all the way around, cut the excess slack and tie your twine to the top left corner of your opening. Cut the excess twine and you're all set. The opening is strong enough to not fail during fishing, but will open in the case of you losing your trap. Now that I've showed you option one, let's do option two. So you'll need the same items along with a pair of dikes, and a small bungee, something like this, would work great. This bungee will eliminate the use of the metal clips and is an alternate option to cutting into your netting. Let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is close your net using two of the metal clips and leaving one of the end clips open. Then grab a two foot long piece of twine and run it between the two steel net frame rods. Once you have done this, use your preferred knot to attach the twine to one of the rods. Now you can cut the excess twine from the tag end. Now take the other end of your twine and weave it around the two steel frames so that they are bound together. Once you have reached the other end, cut the excess slack of your twine, leaving about six inches in length. Now take your small bungee and tie it to the end of your twine using your preferred knot. Once it's cinched, you can hook the bungee to the steel frame on one end of the trap. Now take your dikes and remove the three metal clips located on the center frame rods of the trap. This is a strong and compliant way to retrofit your TR-102W. So those are the two options that we recommend for retrofitting your TR-102W to meet this year's new regulations. For more information, feel free to contact us at info at and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks again for watching.